Now, Jimmy, uh, yes, you seem sir. like a nice fellow, and I've I'm known okay. you. <laughs> we sent you to this event. You were yes. very nice to go. Uh huh. And uh, my understanding was that you were going to go and just uh, interview people, but you had a good idea, I think, which yeah. was you decided that you didn't want to just cover the event. You wanted to participate as well. Is that I right? did. I wanted to get my hands dirty a little bit. So what I did is I uh, I set up my own autograph table. Yeah. And I pretended I, I played a very minor character on the TV show Baywatch. Uh, by the name of Metal Detector Mike. So you, and you clearly did not, you invented this character. That's right. And you came up with a whole backstory for Metal Detector Mike. Yes, I did. And uh, you even came up with headshots, fake headshots. I commit to a role. Yeah. Uh, can we see, this is one of the headshots from Metal Detector <laughs> Mike. <laughs> uh, what a, yeah. What a horrible looking character. <laughs> All right, he, well, he was the comic relief. This guy's got a lot to say. Okay, so you went, uh, you disguised yourself with this character, and uh, you tried to blend in. Let's see what he happened did. at the collector's convention with Jimmy Pardo. All right, here we are. The show just opened up. We got a prime location right by the door. Martin Landau is right across the aisle. Tracy Lord's not too far away. We've already had a few people wonder who the hell I am. Uh, I think it's going to be a good day. Hour one starts now. Morning. Morning. I'm not even this guy, and it upsets me when nobody wants to stop and meet me. What do you got in your pocket? <laughs> Whatever you got in your pocket, I'll take it. I get it. All right, fair enough. How are you? Jim Pardo from Baywatch. Jim, are you yeah. from Baywatch? I was a metal detector Mike for a couple seasons, yes sir. Well, did you watch the program? Uh, oh yeah, everybody watched Baywatch. Yeah, right? You ever watch Conan? You ever watch uh, the TV show Conan? That guy makes me laugh. Conan's good. Yeah. He's a little off the deep end. Yeah, but that's another humor today. How you doing? How you guy? Good. I got a lot of the Baywatch suits. How many suits do you have? 65. And do you have them hanging on a wall or you just have them in a box? I got them in all different places. I frame them all up, have them right? on mannequins, everything. And, and like in a basement, or where, do you, where no, are the no, mannequins no, no, no. at? They're in my house. Jim all here right. is on um, Baywatch. Oh, yeah, good, good. How are you? All right. Did you ever see him? I know, everybody here kind of looks familiar. Yeah, they're right, we're all. <laughs> Did you ever see him on Baywatch? Yes. It was about 115 degrees that day. We were all sweating our asses off. I, I'm not kidding you. I got in a fist fight almost with wardrobe. I said, I'm not going out there unless you give me some tight Speedos. That's a true story. So, everything hanging out? Everything hanging out. You kidding me? And Hasselhoff was the one that pulled the plug. Because you look so good? I think because I upstaged him. I think you're exactly I right. You did. I think he was a little uncomfortable. I bet you did. Here comes Daddy with his package out. You know what I mean? We used to call him the Hassle. Oh, really? the set. Yeah. So I would I'd go, there he is, there's the Hassle. And uh, that was me. I was on Perfect Strangers there for uh, <laughs> uh, an episode. Yeah. I was also in uh, Weird Science. Oh. Went back there as a kid. You know who you remind me of right now? Who? Frank Sinatra. Really? I was spent 35 years with him and Dean Martin and Sammy Davis. And I remind your, you of Frank Sinatra? Your personality, honey. He was so funny. You don't realize? I, I'm more than flattered, oh. and I'm probably going to have somebody whacked. Yeah. And Milton Berle, remember Milton? Of course I do. Well, well, you're there too. Well, I should tell you one thing we don't have in common. Well, he was known for something. <laughs> The schlong? Yes, and I don't, I, don't have, I don't have that at all. Do they know what we're talking yes, about? Yes, everybody knows what we're talking about. Milton Berle had a huge crank. He was so funny. Yeah? And he would get up there and talk about a schlong. It was, well, it was supposed to be humongous. It was. How do you know that? How do you know that? Well, Boom. Yeah. We're lowering it. We're going to six. That ought to bring him in. hey -o. I would. That was, that was my catchphrase. I would go, I was always going, hey -o. Oh, behave! Well, isn't that special? What's up? That was my catchphrase. 